2K Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. Welcome everybody, thanks for joining us for NBA Action on 2K Sports. I'm Kevin Harlan alongside Greg Anthony, Steve Smith, and David Aldridge is joining us from the sideline. It's the Chicago Bulls and the Miami Heat. And it's going to be the Bulls off the tip. Let's check out Chicago's starting lineup. Rodman is out there with Longley. Then it's Pippen. And it's Michael Jordan. And it's Harper in at the point. Now here's Rodman. Feeds to Jordan. Four on the shot clock. Over Wade. A shot by Jordan. No good. And it's Livingston with the ball for the Heat. The pass to Batty. James outside. With a floater. He can't get it to go. And the Bulls going the other way now. Left side, Jordan. To the paint. Longley with the bucket. Yeah, and this is what happens when you have a score like Jordan on the floor. He attracts all that attention defensively, leaving guys wide open. Now, here's Wayne. Here in the first, a little over a minute played so far. Pass to Livingston. Battier kicks to Livingston. Rodman with the rebound. He has a chance now to catch up with the fourth member of our crew, Hall of Famer David Aldrin. Thank you, Kevin. Well, earlier I spoke with the Bulls head coach. He told me this is basically a must-win game. He said we can't go down 3-1 to one in this series. Our odds of coming back from that deficit will be bad. We've got to do whatever it takes. Scrap, fight, find some way to even this up. We'll see if they can come through with that series-tying W tonight, Kevin. Back to you. Thanks so much, David. Bosh, that's good. Effort play, pursuing the basketball. Love how he puts in the work. Outside, Harper. Pippen against Patty. He can't get that one to fall. Good D by James. First quarter of ball, almost two and a half minutes in. James against Jordan. Pass to Longley. That drops and it comes off an assist from Jordan. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. Wow, that's a defensive breakdown. Can't do that against good scores. Now here's LeBron. It's back to Battier. Wade outside from downtown. Here's Bosch. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. And with the offense getting right to the rim, at least they saved the layup. This is his first free throw of the game. Free throw good, Bosch. And so Bosch nails both of them. Now about three minutes gone in the first quarter. Outside Pippen. It's hauled in by the Heat. Bosch has got his fifth rebound in this one. James, the pass to Bosch. That gives them the lead. Bosch has got six. 
You just love LeBron's patience. Scanning the floor, delivers the basketball on point and on time. Now here's Pippen. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. Knocks it loose. Battier with the steal. Now here's Livingston. Defense is right there. Nice shot by James. Completely in rhythm that time. LeBron working off the catch and shoot. Jordan against Wade. The drive by Jordan. Softly drops in the floater. He knew what he wanted to do all along. The teardrop. And it's Livingston with the ball for Miami. Wade outside. Battier left side. Just five to shoot. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Dennis Rodman picks one up. The Heat shooting their third and fourth free throw attempts of the game. He misses the free throw. And the second free throw, good. Here's Pippen. No points in the game yet for him. Down low, and the officials call him for a three-second violation. A heat leading by three. Now here's Wade. He dishes it to Livingston. Inside. Rodman against Patty. The feed now to LeBron. Bosch trying to free himself up. Miami no good on that time either. Bulls trail by three. Outside Harper. Passes it to Longley. Fouled on the shot and picks up two points. So one free throw coming up. And he just big boy right there. The height advantage he's got down low. Really difficult for them to defend. Chicago shooting their first free throw of the game right now. He ties it up. Lead with it. He's still scoreless so far in this one. Here's Bosch. Only grabs the miss. And it goes down two points. And they've scored several times already here in the first quarter on the inside. And the first time out of the game called for Chicago.
Chicago trailing here. Harper kicks to Rodman. Now the pass to Jordan. Overway. Jordan's shot is off. Once he gets the ball there, you expect him to capitalize. That was a missed opportunity. And James throws it down. Sean Livingston's court vision is amazing. Being able to hit the open guy right on stride. Now here's Pippen. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. Uncovered. Boy, for a guy 6'8 to move like that, Pippen, so impressive. I can't believe that went in, and I don't think he can either. Bounce pass Livingston. With the fadeaway. Doesn't go that time. And in Chicago the other way. Outside Harper. Pass to Pippen. Fires for three. Bosch grabs the miss. Bosch has got rebound number seven for him tonight. The will is there, but the execution is lacking. He can't seem to finish plays this quarter. Hmm, I'm not sure what happened on that play. May have relaxed a little bit once he got to the rim. Here's Harper, and he lays it straight in. Harper's got it all tied up now for the Bulls. And they've done well at taking advantage of some late defensive rotations and getting the ball in the paint. Livingston, no luck. Great defensive effort. Just saved a basket. You know what? This is why you never give up on a play. You don't know what's going to happen. Now here's Jordan. Overweight. It's Chicago with another bucket. Yeah, high percentage look for Jordan. It has every move you could ask for in the painted area. And Miami calls their first time out of the game. And just trying to get some traction offensively. Boy, it hasn't been pretty. You know, this is a good time to maybe switch up your strategy a little bit. You can't keep doing what you're doing and expect a different result. And a new group in for the Heat. Measury, he's checked in for Bosch. Haslam comes in for Shane Battier. Lewis checked in for James. And Allen subbed in for Dwayne Wade. So Chicago going with an almost entirely new group here. Tony Kukoc, he's checked in for Rodman. Bushler comes in for Pippen. Jonathan Simmons is checked in for Jordan. And Kerr is subbed in for Ron Harper. Barry's the long-range jumper. And the Heat lead by one. Sean Livingston doesn't take a lot of threes, but he takes those smart ones, and he knocked it down. To the inside. Here's Simmons. It's good. He makes his first shot of the game. Yeah, three consecutive field goals have come right at the rim. The D had better start buckling down. Allen kicks to Haslam. To the paint. Livingston, that's good. Livingston's got five points so far. We've seen the lead change hands quite a bit in this one. And guys, I think each team knows they can win this game. Just a matter who can catch that momentum. Count the basket. And we'll see if they can finally hold on to a lead. It's been back and forth all night. Both teams putting forth their best efforts right now. This is the kind of game fans pay to see. Now here's Allen. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. They double him with Simmons. Clock at four. Now here's Livingston. He's tightly guarded. He drains it as the shot clock ticks down. The shot clock was getting low, but Livingston is one of those guys that's comfortable because taking the basketball, getting to his spot, and knocking it down. Outside, Kukos. 
the elbow at Simmons. Puts up a three. And it's Haslam with the rebound. And already they take out a noticeable advantage in terms of aggression and controlling the backboard. Here's Mesri. Count the bucket. And he's got a free throw coming up as well. And the D getting out work there on the putback. Can't let that happen. For some reason, blocking out has become a lost art. And that's the result you'll get. On the free throw, no good. Bulls trail by three. Here's Bushler. Simmons dishes to Kerr. Some nice ball movement by the Bulls. Simmons against Allen. Simmons inside. Excellent D there from Allen. Goes up at the strike, and there's another one for the Heat. Everybody talks about the three ball, but Sean Livingston understands his game. The mid-range game, he's a master at it. Two coach passes to Simmons. It's stolen by Haslam. Oh, and a fast break for the Heat. Lewis gets the bucket. Now it's a seven-point Heat lead. Now Kerr. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. Who coach against Allen? Pass to Kerr. Shot clock at five. Passes to Simmons. From deep three-point range, and they'll turn it over. Could not get off a shot. 24-second violation. And out of bounds is Chicago gains possession. One twelve left to play in the first quarter. Kerr the pass to Bushler. Outside Kukoc. Simmons on the wing. Six on the shot clock. Here's Longley. They need this one. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. I mean, even from over here, you can see that one pretty clearly. This is his second trip to the line in this one. First one falls for Free throws good from Longley. 52 seconds left here in the opening quarter. And the pass to Livingston. Over Kerr. And the shot is long. You're not going to see that very often. Plenty of space, but he just, let's face it, he whiffs on that. He kicks to Kukoc. Pass to Simmons. Five to shoot. Excellent D there from Allen. Lewis on the way. To the middle. Mesri misses. And his pure defensive effort changed that shot from an easy one. Oh my goodness! One eye on the rim, one eye 
on the clock. Nice job. What I love, there was no panic on his part. That's the steady pulse you want in that situation. Back to the action after this word. And here we go, heading back to the action here in the Eastern Conference Finals. And let's quickly break down the game we've been seeing from the Heat, guys. Just cashing in on second chance opportunities. That's how they built this early lead. You can do everything else right, but if you fail to take care of the defensive glass, you're killing your chances. The Heat leading by three. On the court right now, second quarter for the Bulls. We've got Longley. Jonathan Simmons is out there with Kerr. Then it's Tony Kukoc, and it's Bushley in at the three. Now here's Allen. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring yet from him. Just four to shoot. Here's Livingston, and there's the whistle on the shot. Took the foul, shot misses. He'll be shooting two. And there's the call. Chicago the foul. The Heat shooting their sixth and seventh free throw attempts tonight. And he makes the first. Sean Livingston has really turned his career around. Becoming one of those guards that you want to have on your team. He's a luxury because he can handle it and he can post up. Livingston hits both of them. And here's Kukoc. Kicks it to Simmons. Good ball movement here by the Bulls. Kerr, the pass to Longley. Here's Kukoc, and the bucket is good. Three-point play That's chance good. here for him. And guys, they That's continue good. to put a lot of pressure on the interior defenders with their work down low. First trip to the free throw line for him tonight. Good from Kukoc. The Heat with the lead. Livingston looking for the opening. Pass to Haslam. He kicks it to Allen. Out left to the wing. Now here's Livingston. He's covered closely. Just five on the clock. And then Chicago with the rebound. Here's Simmons. And Simmons slams it in. And those plays can make a difference in a game like this. <laughs> well, you know it's going to fire up, Greg, everybody on that bench. This is a close-knit group. They feed off one another's energy. Livingston, that's good. And you're not going to pass up that kind of thing. Livingston's gone 5 of 11 from the field. Now, here's Kerr. He's covered by Livingston. Simmons. Mejri with the rebound. mejri has got four rebounds in this game. Lewis with the three. And again, Miami with the triple. Aside from the rim runners in this league, most bigs are now asked to help stretch the floor. Passes it to Bush. Kicks to Kukoc. 
Oats one up, and that one is good. Kukoc has got five points in the quarter. I mean, every time down the floor, this is what you're trying to do. Find the right matchup. Now, here's Livingston, defended by Kerr. Allen passes to Lewis. Here's the pass to Measury. Now, here's Livingston. Not a lot of room. Beats the shot clock, but can't get it to fall. Here's Kerr. That one drops for him. And it's now only a one-point heat lead. And they're forcing the ball inside, and it's working like a charm. Timeout called the Heat. Well, it's a player's league, but certainly coaching has its place. Yeah, if that weren't the case, you wouldn't see so many coaching changes in the offseason. And a new group getting ready for Miami. Chris Bosch has checked in for Measure. Patty A comes in for Udonis Haslam. James checked in for Rashard Lewis. And Dwayne Wade subbed in for Sean Livingston. So Chicago going with an almost entirely new group. Here. Dennis Rodman, he's checked in for Kukoc. Pippen comes in for Bushley. Michael Jordan is checked in for Jonathan Simmons. And it's Harper in for Steve Kerr. Here's Jordan. Ray Allen picking up that last basket. Outside Harper. And it's sent back by Bosch. T Wade on the wing. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. He's been making plays like that his whole career. Wade is a master at working himself to the charity strike. The Heat have missed two free throws in the game, going five for seven. First free throw is good. And they have yet to miss a shot from the line here this quarter. He doesn't get the second one. Dwayne Wade at the stripe. How many times have we said that before? He lives there. They get a hand on it. To the paint. And finished off by Longwood. Oh, just solid on the one-handed slam. And guys, when it's a tight ball game like this, he's the guy they want with the ball. Patty O cannot hit. There is the value of great rim protection without fouling, forcing the miss. Harper kicks to Jordan. Another shot. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. It's going to be on Shane Benny. And the defining trait of the greatest of superstars Jordan makes the players around him better mentally in terms of effort and in terms of their performance take a break take a break two shots
And he knocks down the first one. And it's tied up with that one. Now here's Allen. Eddie outside. Here's the lob to the hoop. Rebound by the Bulls. Rodman's got four rebounds now tonight. Harper kicks to Jordan. Over Wade. Misses off the right iron. Great focus on the defensive end there to contest that shot. And this is where you would prefer to work the ball to someone else for just a better look. Terrific play. This is why you run your offense through him and live with the results. Outside Harper. Pass to Pippen. Fires from the wing. And the Bulls with another miss. And it's Wade with the ball for the Heat. Shooting foul. As the whistle blows, he'll shoot two free throws. Wade still has some explosiveness left on the drive. Great job to draw the foul. For Miami, they have gone six of nine at the line. First one falls for. He hits one and misses one each at the line. Bulls trail by three. It's Pippen on the wing. Passed to Longley. And it's sent back by Bosch. In the corner, it's James. And they cash in right away with the quick shot. LeBron's got eight points. So reliable. They've really leaned on him at the offensive end. Pippen with it. Picked up by Battier. Pippen, the pass to Rodman. And the rejection by LeBron. When he blocks shots, they are usually on the highlight reel. LeBron James with another one. That one good for two. Wade's got the lead up to seven now for the Heat. His hard work on the backboard really just has given them more opportunities to score. Time called here. The Bulls decide to talk it over. And Coach can't like what he's seeing, trying to get them refocused. It's so easy to get run over when you lose even a little edge. Look for them to come out much more aggressive. against Harper back to Pippen passes it to Harper six to shoot over Battier the offensive rebound here's Rodman and again unable to change momentum here 
solid rebound there. And with the score like it is, that's an area where they can't afford to get lazy. LeBron James on the wing. 17-foot shot on the way. Again, the Heat, good for two. Oh, he's heating up here now in the second quarter. Watch out. Feeds it to Rodney. Battier with the steal. And here we go. Fast break. LeBron's got it. And he can't extend the lead to double digits. That was excellent contest, preventing him from making something that's usually automatic. And it's sent back by Allen. Wade left side. Allen trying to break free. And there's Dwayne Wade on the assist by Allen. Uh, assists like that have typified their effort today. Terrific ball movement. Time called here. The Bulls decide to talk it over. Bulls trail by 11. Harper with the ball. Outside, Rodman. Michael Jordan on the wing. Six on the shot clock. They need this. And it's good on the layup. Jordan's got four points in the quarter. Worked that one inside nicely. Here's Wade. He has six. The pass to LeBron. Takes a three. And the Heat, another three. And it just seems that every pass they make is leading to a score. Just great ball movement. Here's Pippen. And here's Miami. They're on a 17-6 run. The drive by James and the dunk by James. They're at their best when LeBron pushes. His aggressiveness raises the level of this team. Harper kicks to Jordan. Pass to Rodman. Uses the glass to finish the layup. So good at the rim. A slow defensive rotation leads to the easy lay. Wait on the wing. Guarded by Jordan. Wait against Jordan. Wade passes to LeBron. LeBron is doubled. Beyond the arc. And it's Chicago with the rebound. Now Harper makes it off the glass. And that's what he does. I mean, he is a bucket getter. On offense, here are the Heat. They're on a 16-6 run. LeBron passes to Bosh, and then Bosh with the jam. And, and being that Bosh is 6'11", dunking comes easy. And, and once he's this close to the basket, he's ready to attack. Now here's Jordan. Eight points for him. Over Wade. Jordan's shot is off. He's kind of lost his way this period, having a hard time getting anything to go down. Now on against Harper. He kicks it to Pippen. And three from Jordan. And it's Miami with the rebound. 
Bosch has got double digit rebounds now in the game. Bucket is good. Wade's got the lead up to 14 now for the Heat. Coming off a scoreless first quarter, he's found a little rhythm here. Outside Pippen. Ball's not loose. And out of bounds as the Heat gain possession. And the Heat making a change here. Livingston's checked in. The Bulls also changing it up. Kukoc, he's checked in for Long. And Steve Kerr is subbed in for Ron Harper. Livingston dishes to LeBron. We've got 128 left now here in the second. Shot clock at five. Here's Bosch. Nails the baby hook. Bosch has got four points this quarter. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now. Especially on the interior. Kerr kicks to Pippen. 102 left to play in the first half. Pippen simply put one of the best small forwards of all time. A defensive powerhouse and a fearless score. First trip to the line for him here. Shooting two. Free throw good from Pippen. They've hit every one of their free throws here in the second quarter. Very important when you're trailing. And some changes here for the Heat. Measuring, he's checked in for Batty. And it's Lewis in for LeBron. Simmons checked in for Chicago. And both free throws good for Pippen. The Heat leading by 14. And here's Wade. He's got eight. There's 49 seconds left to play here in the second quarter. And here's Simmons. He'll bring it up for the Chicago Bulls. Addition out to Pippen. Back to Simmons. And some nice ball movement here by Chicago. Bosch against Kukoc. The Bulls need to get a shot off here. Here's Pippen, and he hits it just before the shot clock expires. Pippen's got four points in the quarter. Yeah, and what you love about Kukoc, the versatility on offense and the terrific court vision. Now, here's Wade. And the last shot before the buzzer is off. And so that brings the first half to a close. Heat lead by 12. Stay with us, folks. We'll get back just after halftime to start the third quarter. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Welcome back, everybody. You've been watching the Eastern Conference Finals on 2K Sports. Ernie Johnson, Kenny Smith, and Shaquille O'Neal. Looking at Miami with a chance to take a commanding 3-1 to one lead in this series. They've got their foot firmly on the gas pedal tonight. A sensational first-half performance for them. Let's hear from you, Shaq, on the Heat first half. Well, they really dictated the pace of the game with their transition game. They got out on the break every chance they had, and the time they could push the tempo, they did. And a lot of times, they kept the defense scrambling like eggs with the cheese and apple juice. And Kenny, let's get your input on the Bulls. Well, it's never easy to play on a road, and the score reflects that. Just doesn't seem like they're well prepared for this matchup. Every time they tried to make a run, they got derailed. I think to refocus their efforts in the second half, they're going to need to play with a lot more determination for a chance to win this. That's all for now. Say goodbye to the folks. Thanks goodbye, for folks. joining us. Third quarter, just about ready to begin.
and we welcome you back to Game 4 on 2K Sports. What can you say, LeBron James? What an impressive effort today. Yeah, and just look at the numbers from the first half. He has been very efficient. And it's not like everything's been at the rim. There's been a number of jump shots along the way. And with a big gap on the scoreboard, the second half begins with very different goals for these teams. One side trying to mount a comeback. One side trying to protect their lead. They've got Shane Battier. Livingston is out there with Dwayne Wade. Then there's Chris Bosch. And it's James in at the three, the small four. That's the group on the floor for Miami. Now here's LeBron. Fires the three. Rodman grabs the miss. And you could tell he thought he had a little more space, but the defender was right there. The ability to close out on perimeter shooters is so important in today's game. And Shane Battier gets the whistle that time. That'll be his second foul of the game. And here are the Bulls now. Down by 12. Looking to get it going. A nice shot by Jordan. Jordan's got 10 points in the game. Yeah, it's just amazing the hang time Jordan gets, he, even on a simple jumper. The feed to LeBron. Down low, Maddie able to pass to Bosch. He's gone two for two at the line so far. Shoot two. First free throw is good. Second free throw, no good. Bulls trail by 11. Outside Pippen. Here's the three. Can't hit that one. And it's Miami the other way. At one point, they led by 16. And it's good. Two points. And that's 17 points for LeBron. Yeah, off contact. I'll take LeBron pretty much every time. Can't beat that kind of strength and body control. Now here's Rudd. Here's Jordan. And the Bulls tack on two more. Working in that mid-range area, the analytics may not love it, but that's a good look for him. Livingston kicks to Battier. Here's LeBron. Drops one in from the wing. LeBron's got four points in the quarter. Yeah, he's in such a great rhythm right now. Makes sense to get him the ball any way you can. Let him decide whether to shoot it, whether to pass it. He's your catalyst right now. Shot is good, and the Heat's lead is cut to just 11 on the basket from Pippen. And it's Livingston with the ball for the Heat. A little under two and a half minutes gone by here in the third. Bosch against Longley from 11 feet away. Lock at six. From deep. And they force the shot clock violation. Great D. Udonis Haslam. He's checked in for Chris Bosch. And a change for the Bulls. Bushel is checked in. A little over two and a half minutes off the clock in this final half of play. Outside, Rodman. 
pass to Jordan. And the lead is down inside single digits. Jordan's got 14. The Heat leading by nine. Pass to James. Now here's Livingston. The shot from the low post is good. He's got 15. A little under two and a half minutes off the clock now here in the third. Harper the pass to Bush. Now Jordan overweighed and too long on the shot. Went to the fadeaway. Didn't need to though. Probably cost him some points. And finished off by LeBron. I mean, plenty of lift in those legs. LeBron never did the dunk contest. He just does it in a game. Harper up top. The pass to Bush. Knocked away. And stolen by LeBron. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. And what do you do with LeBron on the loose and coming at you full speed? All you can do is foul him. The Heat have gone 8 of 13 from the free throw line. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. That one is off. A guy who's won almost every award in the book. LeBron does as much for the NBA off the court as he does on it. Good on the second free throw. And here are the Bulls now. It's a 14-point game. Outside Harper. Pass to Bushler. Five on the clock. Pass to Rodman. Over Battier. And it's good with time running down on the shot clock. Rodman's got his second bucket of the night. Miami leading by 12. Wade against Jordan, tipped away. And they're pushing it up. From the top of the key, he buries it. Harper's got six. Miami with the ball. The drive by James, count it good. In case anyone was wondering, this is what it looks like when you're in the zone. He hasn't missed one all quarter. Harper kicks to Rodman. Here's Longley. Here's Bushler. LeBron with the block. Livingston dishes to Wade. That drops and it comes off the assist from Livingston. Livingston's got three assists in the game. Time called here. The Bulls decide to talk it over. Look at LeBron James. He's really been playing well. The man has been relentless scoring inside, attacking the rim every chance he gets. Their defense has been powerless to stop him. We'll see what adjustments they make coming out of this timeout. Measury, he's checked in for the Heat. Allen comes in for Dwayne Wade. The Bulls also changing it up. 
Kukoc comes in for Bushler. And Kerr subbed in for Ron Harper. Two points. That one goes. Kukoc has got nine. He is really shouldering the load on the offensive end and doing an outstanding job. But he needs the rest of his team to step up. Inside. To the inside. Longley. And the layup is good after a nice lead pass. He's got 13. This is who you want leading that play. A sure passer with great awareness. Livingston passes to LeBron. And he can't bank that one in. Bulls trail by 10. Outside, Kukos. Outside, Jordan. Dishes it to Rodney. Jordan inside, defended by Allen. Shot clock at six. And a miss there with a chance to cut the lead to single digits. He's looking for James and finds him. A guy that great, you have to make somebody else beat you. LeBron's been hot tonight. Jordan kicks to Rodman. Passes it to Curry. Outside Jordan. Over Allen. The shot by Jordan, no good. The Heat leading by 12. Here's LeBron. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. James has got 13 points here in the second half alone. Riding the hot hand, and why not? If something's working, keep going to it. Two coach kicks to Kerr. And there's the pass to Longley. From deep three-point range. And it's Haslam with the rebound. On offense, here are the Heat. Livingston with it. He's got 15. He dishes it to Haslam. Now, here's Livingston, defended by Kerr. But they'll get another chance. And the basket good by Mesri. When, when you're trying to claw your way back into a game, you cannot allow second chance opportunities. Especially when you're this far down, you have to make the most of every sequence. Pass to Longley. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot too. He's shooting free throws, number four in five here. Free throw, good, Longley. A different look for Miami. Wash comes in for Udonis Haslam. And it's Lewis in for LeBron. And the Bulls making a change also. Simmons checked in for Jordan. Both free throws good from Longley. Here is Livingston. 15 points in the game. And Lewis has it in the corner. Measury, the pass to Livingston. That shot misses. Good work defensively by Rodman. Having a shaky time from the floor, but his teammates have been picking up the slack. And you look at Kerr, just a sharp shooting role player. His game really about guts and intelligence. Bulls have not made a mistake at the line yet. 10 of 10.
And the first one at the line is good. And they haven't let points get away from them at the line tonight. That's always something that will allow a coaching staff to breathe a little easier. Scotty Pippins checked in for the Bulls. Both good from the line that time. This is as good as it gets from the charity strike here in the second. Left side, Bosch. And it's good assisting on the play with Livingston. Livingston's got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight. Knocks it loose. Leaps for it, and it's out of bounds. The Heat will take it the other way. Here's Allen. Who is outside? Kicks to Livingston. Rocket six. The Heat need to get a shot off. Fader on the way. And Bosch gets it to go on the assist by Livingston. And that's 17 points for Chris Bosch. Bulls trail by 16. Kerr, the pass to Pippen. On the wing, and the shot goes down. Pippen's got 10 points in the game. The Heat leading by 14. 156 left in the third. Through coach with the steal. Here's Simmons. Takes the assist and lays it in. Picked out the pass nicely. He's got eight. Any chance you get, you want to put yourself in a position to succeed. And that's what he did there. Great job of reading the floor. Got to the rim and made a play. Now here's Livingston. He's got 15. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. That one on Kukoc. Shoot two. First free throw is good. Livingston hits both of them. Bulls trail by 14. We've got 118 left in the third quarter. Simmons feeling it out a bit. Nine feet out. And it's Chicago scoring again. Perfect play to run there to get a clean look. Timeout called the Heat.
Here's Livingston. T right on him. Good work defensively by Kerr. Bulls trail by 12. Outside, Simmons. Got a piece of it. And now Bosch running the floor all by himself. He's made three of his four free throw attempts in the game. Shooting two. Free throw good. Bosch. Dwayne Wade's checked in for Miami. And so Bosch nails both of them. There's 37 seconds left in the third quarter of the game. Kerr kicks to Kukoc. Back to Kerr. Bulls moving the ball around. Allen against Simmons. Stolen by Allen. And here we go with Allen running it up the court. And there's Dwayne Wade on the assist by Allen. Allen's got his eighth assist here tonight. Now Pippen. Out to the right wing. Kerr the pass to Kukos. For three, Pippen. He oh, made it! Yes, he made it! Yes, he did! Yeah! Big time shot to beat the buzzer there. My goodness. He had to rush that one a little, but terrific stroke from range. And so it's Miami looking at a 13-point lead heading into the next quarter. Their transition game has been in full effect. Head coach Eric Spolstra mic'd up along the sideline. Let's check it out. I put together three or four stops in a row. Come on, just concentrate on good basketball right now. Compressing it down to these few minutes, Sarek Spolster asking his guys to focus in defensively. And talking to one another, quicker rotations, the help has to be there on time if they want to come up with these stops. And one quarter to go in a game that to this point has not been an evenly fought contest. So for Chicago right now, Pippen is out there with Tony Kukoc. Then there's Harper. Then it's Kerr, and it's Rodman in at the five down low. Here's Wade. Got it. Good job in the low post. Wade's got the first points up on the board here in the fourth for the Heat. Bulls trail by 15. Outside Pippen. And that one's on target from the wing. And so it's Wade. He'll bring it up for the Heat. At one point, they led by 16. From eight. No good that time. Good work defensively by Rodman. Kerr, the pass to Pippen. Goes back up. A second chance effort. Miami grabs the miss. Hard to catch up when you can't hit shots. This is a quarter he liked to forget. Decent look for mid-range, but there may have been a better option for them in that set. Kerr against Allen. Kerr, the pass to Rodman. And blocked. That one goes careening off the glass. One of the all-time great shot blockers at the off-guard position. None other than Dwayne Wade. Pass to Allen. Lewis outside. Passes it to Bosch. Six on the shot clock. Eddie outside. Again, the miss by the Heat. Bulls trail by 13. Over to the wing. Harper with the ball. Wade picks him up. And he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact. And he'll go to the line for two. That's on Dwayne Wade. No, I'll tell you what. He earned his money on that foul. And 
and he can't get the first one. Luke Longley's checked in for Steve Kirk. And he sinks the second. And so here is Miami. They played a great fourth quarter defensively, allowing only three points. Wade against Pippen. Wade kicks to Lewis. Just five to shoot. Let's it fly. Wade gets the bucket. Wade's got four this quarter. He executes that pick and roll as well as anyone in the game. D. Wade is an all-time great. Here's Pippen. He sticks that one in from 20 feet away. Miami leading by 12. Here's Battier. Rodman with the block. And the thing about Rodman, he, he's more of a position player defensively, but that time reaching up to swat it away. And the Heat making a change here. James has checked in. Michael Jordan is checked in for Chicago. Around three minutes gone here in the fourth quarter. Wade finds Bosch. The basket good off the assist from Wade. 21 points for Chris Bosch. Nice read by Dwayne Wade. Beautiful. James against Kukoc. The pass to Harper. And too much time in the lane. They get called for the three-second violation. And when you're trying to cut into a lead, you can ill afford mistakes like that. You know what it is. A lack of concentration. That's a momentum killer. And the Heat making a change here. Livingston's checked in. Here's LeBron. A look at the clock. A little under three and a half minutes gone here in the fourth. That shot, no good. Bulls trail by 14. To the middle. Here's Rodman. Second shot opportunity. And it's Miami with the rebound. You like that he's still attacking. But the results tonight just haven't been there. Shooting two. No good on that one. He hits the second from the line. Bulls trail by 15. And here's Kukoc. Michael Jordan on the wing. Six to shoot. And he gets the whistle for the three-second call. And it's easy to give up after a play like that. But this team needs to keep fighting. It's just one trip down the court, but you have to have short memory in this league or you won't last long. James, the pass to Wade. Back to James. Drills the elbow jumper. James has got 30 points. 
Down the stretch, this is when they need him the most, and he is delivering. Pass to Kukoc. Outside, Rodman. Cloak loose. And it's sent back by Box. And uh, now looks like we've got an injury here, guys. We'll likely see him come out of the game. And I feel like we see this all too often. Injuries, they, they play such a big part of the game. Well, the explosive moments, the quick change of direction, a lot of stress put on the body. Lewis checked in for Shane Batty. Heat leading by 17. Now here's Wade. Down low. Here's Bosch. And foul on the shot. So he'll get a chance at the line. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. The first one falls. And so Bosch nails both of them. Bulls trail by 19. Outside, Kukoc. It's tipped. He feeds it to Rodman. Uses the glass to finish the way. I love it. Beautiful job getting to the rim, making a play. And so James will bring it up for the Miami Heat. They've allowed just seven points here in the fourth quarter. Here's Wade. Miami no good on that time either. And taking care of the ball has been a problem for them. That's something they've got to fix. While the defense has been good, a lot of these turnovers have been unforced. Who coach against James? Outside, who coach? Here's Harper. And they turn over the 24-second buzzer, signaling the shot clock violation. A heat leading by 17. They get a hand on it. Last break. Here comes Chicago. MJ taken off from the free throw line. And the pressure he put on that shot forced the miscue. The rim protection at its finest. The result is the same whether you block the shot or simply change it. And that's just cold-blooded right there. He's taking no prisoners. Expanding upon this lead, trying to close it out. He's really stepped up. Here's Longley. Bosch grabs the miss. Bosch has got rebound number 13 with that last one. Here's Harper. He's covered by Livingston. Outside, Harper feeds it to Rodman. 
Here's Jordan. And that one is off. Wade with the defensive effort. And even three-on-three -three break. LeBron passes to Wade. Tony Kukoc comes up with the rebound. Kukoc has got his fourth rebound in this one. And it's time for an injury report. Guys, I was able to speak with the head athletic trainer for the Heat about his status. He told me it's a sprained elbow. Now, they put some ice on it, and they're hoping that he doesn't have any inflammation. This is not how they want it to begin the season, and it'll be interesting to see how much this hurts them. Kevin? Thank you, David. Hopefully, we'll see him very soon. Here's LeBron, and the shot goes in. James has got 34. I'll tell you, LeBron with the ball inside feels like a foregone conclusion. Two coach pass to Rodman. Good D by LeBron. I don't know how many shots he's missed this quarter, but they're going to have to find offense from someone else. Bulls trail by 19. Harper with the ball. Outside, Kukoc. Passed along. Over Wade, and it's sent back by Bosch. Now here's Jordan. He's covered by Livingston. Outside Jordan. He kicks it to Kukoc. Six on the shot clock. And again, Chicago. No good. James, the pass to Livingston. Yes, and it's LeBron picking up the assist. Livingston's got 19 points. Not a lot of resistance on the inside, and they're taking full advantage. Kukoc pass to Rodman. Great D that time from James. I don't know how many shots he's missed this quarter, but they're going to have to find offense from someone else. Playing with high energy, outworking the defense up the floor. And I just love it when the fast break results in a high percentage look. Not always the case these days. Chicago calls timeout. And the lack of rim protection, top of the list. And it boils down to the question. Toughness. One team showing it, the other allowing itself to be bullied. chance now to recognize our Jordan player of the game, Chris Bosch. And when he's been on the floor, it has been a clinic in rim protection and shot blocking. He's played the defense of three men tonight. His block total has gotten to a point you almost never see in an NBA game. Some players rise to the occasion in the playoff spotlight and some wilt under it. We know which type he is. What a stunning night for him. Harper kicks to Pippen. Passes it to Jordan. Outside Harper. Puts up a three. They get it back. Longley and contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. And he can't get the first one. And he can't 
can't make the second free throw either. Listen both. It's a plus five advantage for them in rebounding after that one. Now the pass to Allen. Back to Livingston. James outside. That drops and it comes off the assist from Livingston. Livingston's got his seventh assist in the game. They've been looking out of sorts in the last few possessions. And this is when you need to be patient. Find a high percentage shot and have some floor balance. A nice shot by Jordan. 156 left in the fourth quarter. Outside Bosch. Inside, here's James. That shot off the mark. So the Bulls will take it the other way. Pippen dishes to Rodman. And that one drops. Rodman's got four points now in the quarter. There's a minute 34 left in the fourth quarter. Wade against Jordan. Wade passes to Bosch. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Bosch has got 13 points in the second half. And Matador defense... That's one of the easiest shots he is ever going to see. And this is what happens when you start to break your opponent's spirit. The resistance is no longer there. Outside, Rodman. Pass to Jordan. Clock at six. Over Allen. And there's Michael Jordan, the assist from Rodman. And when we think about the excitement that Jordan brings to the game, but, but what about the offensive fundamentals? The, the, the man is a perfectionist. LeBron is doubled. Here's Wade. The dish to Livingston. That one, no good. Jordan with some nice D. Here's Pippen. Second chance shot. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. And as a free throw shooter, Robin has his challenges. One of those guys who almost shoots a better percentage from the field. He's off on the first. And Miami going with a whole new group out there. So Chicago going with an almost entirely new group here. Wennington, he's checked in for Longley. Simpkins comes in for Pippen. Bushler's checked in for Michael Jordan. And it's Brown in for Harper. That one misses. And here's Brown. He'll bring it up for the Heat. Nice shot by Smith. Here's Brown. Seven second difference. Shot in game clock. Pass to Simpkins. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. It's going to be on Udonis Hazel. That free throw, no good. And he's good on the second. 17 seconds left in the fourth quarter.
And so Miami takes this one by a big margin. And now they're sitting on a commanding three games to one lead. They've grabbed this series by the throat, Greg. And, and, and Kevin, I don't think they're going to let it go. You can see the determination they had tonight. They don't want to drag this series out. They want to get this thing over with. And so this one is in the books. We hope you've enjoyed being with us for the Eastern Conference Finals. For Steve Smith, Craig Anthony, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan thanking you for being with us. So long.